Hi, I'm Rachel Curian. Hey, I'm David Watson. And we're going to go through problems based on the survey that we conducted. So number 12. In a survey conducted, there were 37 freshmen and 13 sophomores. What is the probability of randomly selecting a freshman? All right, so for this one, we need to find how many freshmen there are and how many total students there are. So for the total, we just take the 37 freshmen plus the 13 sophomores, and so we know there was 50 students total. So once we have that, we're just gonna take the 37 freshmen, because that's the ones we want, and divide it by the total. So in this case, 50. And if we want to convert that to a decimal, that would just be 0.74. And that would be our answer. And all you have to do to convert it to a decimal is take that 37 and divide it by 50. You can use a calculator if you want to. All right, number 13. So Professor Curian asked 50 students which one they put first, milk, cereal, or they don't like either one, so basically neither. The results are below. So this is what we found out that 29 freshmen put cereal, one put milk, and seven put neither. For the sophomores, nine put cereal first, four put milk, and nobody picked neither. So for us, we picked milk. We put milk first. I know some of you think it's weird, but oh well. We counted ourselves as sophomores, so two out of the four sophomores were us that put milk first. So we're not alone. There's other people. Feel free to start hating us in the discussion boards right after this video. Or you can just try the milk first. It's really the same thing. Keeps it crunchier. Just saying. <laughs> That's true. Okay, go ahead. All right, so for part A, we're trying to find the probability of randomly choosing someone who put milk first. So in order to find that, we already know there's 50 students total, so we know the total of that, but we need to find the total amount of people who put milk first. So there's one freshman and four sophomores that put milk for first, so you just add those up. There's a total of five students and us who put milk first. So we put the number that put it first, which is five, over the total number, and that's 50. So we can reduce the fraction, just be one over 10. And then we can also just convert that to a decimal should be 0.1. So for B, find the probability of randomly choosing someone to put cereal first. So we're going to do the same thing except for with cereal this time. So there's 29 freshmen who put cereal first and nine sophomores who put cereal first. Oops. So we just add those numbers up, and then when we add those up, we're going to get 38. So we have 38 over still a total of 50. And if we convert, or sorry, if we simplify that first, <laughs> then you can divide both of these by 2, getting 19. over 25, which is 0.76. And that would be our answer. So with the debate of which one's better, iPhone or Android? Sorry, my voice is going on, I'm not sick. <laughs> We decided to ask our class which one they prefer, iPhone or Android, or they just don't care. So in a recent survey, 50 students were asked whether they prefer 
iPhone, Android, or just do not care. 39 people picked iPhone, 10 people picked Android, and one person picks, well, I don't care. So find the following probabilities. Randomly choosing someone who chose iPhone. All right, so again, it's gonna be the number of people who chose iPhone divided by the total. So we're still <laughs> working with 50 students. So we're just gonna take the number of people who preferred iPhone, 39, and divide that by the 50 students. And when we do that and convert it to a decimal, it'd be 0.7. And by the way, I prefer iPhone, so I'm in that category. I'm in the I don't care. Wait, you were the only one who didn't care? Mm, maybe. I don't think anybody else put I don't care. I think it was just me. But I do have an Android right now. So I kind of like every two years I switch between the two. All right. I have an iPhone 6 still, so I'm ancient. All right. <laughs> My gosh. Part so part B, randomly choosing someone who did not choose iPhone. So for this one, if they didn't choose iPhone, that means they either picked Android or they didn't care. One of the two. All right, so we can just add those up and we get 11. I don't know why it's, my pen has turned black now. There we go. All right, so there's 11 people who didn't choose iPhone. So we just take that 11, divide it by the 50, and we'll get 0.22, <laughs> all right? Now, one thing I do wanna mention, you could get this same exact thing by just taking one and subtracting the people who did choose iPhone. So 0.78 was the probability of somebody picking an iPhone. If you subtracted those, you would actually get 0.22 as well. So you should get the same answer either way. All right, so number 15. This one is kind of like one of my favorites. <clears throat> so in a recent survey, 50 students were asked whether they prefer the office, friends, how I met your mother, or none and the results are below. Obviously, I'm an Office fan, and at first it didn't look like there was that many people who liked the Office, which y'all are my favorite students, by the way. And you picked? I picked How I Met Your Mother. Which so, Office fans, we win. <laughs> All right, so part A, randomly choosing someone who prefers the Office. All right, so for that one, we still have 50 students to work with, so that's still gonna be our denominator. Now, we're just going to be talking about the people who prefer the office. So there's 19 students total that prefer the office. We don't even have to add up the freshman and sophomore this time, because it's actually already done for us. So we just take the 19, divide it by 50 and you'll get 0.38. All right, let's look at the probability for how I met your mother. All right, so for the probability of how I met your mother, <laughs> we have four total, again out of 50, so it's gonna be four out of 50, and this time it does reduce, so two out of 25, or 0 0.08. So you have a better chance of finding somebody who likes the office more than how I met your mother. To be fair, I do like the office as well. I just prefer how I met your mother. It's just like a remake of Friends, which I like Friends. All right, randomly choosing someone who prefers friends. So for friends, 
we have 10 students who like friends. So we take 10 out of 50. And I seriously don't know why that keeps happening. Every time I'm at the screen. All right. So we have 10 out of 50. We can reduce that into one out of five. And if we put that as a decimal, it's going to be 0.2. So again, better chance of finding somebody who likes friends over How I Met Your Mother. Sorry, How I Met Your Mother fans. All right. So part D, randomly choosing someone who does not prefer How I Met Your Mother. And I like how there's already a, a frowny face on that one because the people who do not prefer How I Met Your Mother deserve those frowns. All right. So for this one, we already know that we have a 0 0.08 probability of finding somebody who prefers How I Met Your Mother. So if we want to find someone who does not prefer How I Met Your Mother, then just like we did last time, we could actually just take one <coughs> minus <coughs> The 0 0.08, which would give us 0.92. And that's it. It's a high probability. It's okay, it just means I'm more special than you are. You're <laughs> common, okay? <laughs> All right, in a certain ACM ABS course, 50 students asked whether they were, were asked, sorry, whether they were weirded out by the survey. There were 33 students who responded no and 17 students who responded yes. What is the probability of choosing someone who responded yes? All right, so for the record, I am surprised that that number of yeses was not a lot higher. We asked some weird things in this survey. <laughs> Which you'll see in the next videos. Yes. All right. So if we want to find students who responded yes, then we know that there's 17 that responded yes. So we take 17 and have the outcome that we want over 50 total, convert that to a decimal and it's going to be 0 0.34. And that's our answer. All right, well, stay tuned for our next videos with the rest of the survey results. Bye. We'll have a lot weirder of questions. <laughs>